Welcome back. It is 542 on this Tuesday and Browns fans are unmatched through the good and the bad fans continue to show up. So mm -hmm. when a symbol of Browns fandom went up for sale, Brian Grill came calling. Yeah, now he and his son are looking to bring the bone mobile back to its original form. Austin Love has the story. Brian Grill is a Browns fan. He means everything. A crazy Browns fan. It's just part of everything we do. Like most Clevelanders, it's a passion that started when his dad brought him to his first game at just four years old. And we've been going to Browns games since. It's a passion that he has since passed down to his son. And we go to every game. He's been, his first game was when he was like three years old. Through the good. The Browns are good. There's nothing like Cleveland. And a lot of bad. We went to every game when they were 1-31. and 31. They are there. We are passionate people, and I mean, you can't buy passion like that. But when you've got priceless passion like Brian, it will lead you to buy just about anything. Enter the Bone Mobile. A treasured piece of Brown's fandom that donned the Muni lot for years. Created by Brown's superfan, the Bone Lady. She was the face of the Browns when the Browns came back. The license plate says we're back, but the car is history. It's Cleveland Browns history. So when Brian saw it was up for sale, he knew he had to have it. And she had posted that she was selling the Bone Mobile and that you had to email her. So as soon as my son got in the car, I'm like, we're going to buy the Bone Mobile. And he immediately rushed to me and told him to email him. He emailed her literally within 30 seconds of when we saw the post. So what your email say? Uh, I think it said something along the lines of, hi, we're really big Browns fans, we'd like to buy the car. After a long 30 minutes, the Bone Lady got back to them. Yeah, we came right away. $500 later, and it was theirs. <laughs> that was a steal. The problem with their new purchase, though, well, just about everything. Everything needs to be done. It smells horrible. It hasn't been driven and hasn't been opened up in probably six years. We can only get one door open so far. Despite its downfalls and foul smell, it smells like a dead body. Brian and Otto are determined to fix it up. We're going to try to make it back to a, the original. Carrying on the legacy of the Bone Lady. I was so thrilled because the first thing that Brian and Otto said, oh, we're going to restore it and we're going to bring it back. And continuing to share the passion of the team they love. I just want everybody to come by and see it. Like, I just want them to see, hey, there's the Bone Mobile, you know? Like, that's it. It's all, it's everybody's car. It's every Browns fan's car. All right, well, how cool is that? So the Bone Lady said that after she sent out that initial email, she got about 1,000 people reaching out to her wanting to buy it. But hey, Brian and Otto, they were the quickest. They brought their $500 over to her, and then they had to load up the Bone Mobile onto a flatbed and drive it over to where uh, Brian works there. I mean, because literally, it, it doesn't run. They have their work cut out <laughs> for them, quite honestly. It doesn't run. It said only one door opens. Oh quite literally, it smells like cat pee because oh. it's been sitting in this lot vacant for about six years but hey they have a lot of work cut mm. out for them but they're determined to make sure that they get this thing up and rolling and ready to rock and roll in the muni lot come opening day so make sure you look out for that but how, how exciting and how much fun and this is just like is the epitome of browns fans I think just like use... bringing this back to life and uh having a lot of fun while they do it i think dog would be the over cat, but anyway, twenty-five dollars is that what you said? <laughs> or uh, I'm sorry, five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, he was like, that, that, he was like, I didn't barter with her. It sounded yeah. like a bargain to me. <laughs> it's everything you would want in a used car, right? You really sold it there. I mean, used. he's he's taken on <laughs> absolutely. He's taken on quite <laughs> the feat. So it's gonna be exciting to see the Bone Mobile back out on the roads and everything. Austin, thank you so much. Could you guys imagine that in your driveway? Um, <laughs> mine, <laughs> my husband could. Mark <laughs> could definitely imagine that in the driveway. I, see it I don't here, know if Dave. I could. <laughs> For some reason. Uh, <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. But wow, I mean, Holly, that rain We're all good that friends was here, we know.